So I wanted to talk about this new feature that we have in Premiere CC 2015.3, which is the ability to add or remove a keyframe with a single keyboard shortcut. Now this is something that I've been asking for for over a year, actually maybe two years by now. I posted this big feature request video back in uh, June 2015, and I talk about how there are no keyboard shortcuts for making keyframes. Um, I mention it again in this video in 2016, and people have been bothering Adobe for keyboard shortcuts for making keyframes for, I don't know, probably over a decade at this point. Like, I'm not the first one to point this out. And some, some of these responses are absurd. They don't even seem to understand what the problem is. Like, oh, what do you mean you need a shortcut for making keyframes? Oh yeah, it doesn't exist, sorry. Eh, these guys are like, no, nah, it's been my feature request for the longest time. And I have been, you know, very annoyingly harassing the, uh, the poor people over at the Adobe Premiere Pro Twitter. Every time they post something, <laughs> I've been just such a pain in the ass telling them, you know what, we still need keyboard shortcuts for keyframes. And wouldn't you know it, they finally did it. And the implementation sucks. And I will tell you why. So let's open up Premiere here. I've got uh, two little boxes here. If I want to move this one around using keyframes, what I've done is I've mapped those shortcuts to Shift S, Shift A, and Shift D. If I go here and I want to make a keyframe, it defaults to opacity. What is up with that? Why? Why would, it, why would it do that? So let's turn that off. And oh, this action will delete existing keyframes. <laughs> do you want to continue? You get this warning dialog box every single time. Again, I said two years ago that we need a little extra thing here that says never ask again. If I accidentally uh, deselect, oh, I deselected the position layer and then it defaults back to opacity. Uh, let's go to the next one. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't go to the next one. I'm pressing the shortcut, but uh, I need to have that selected as well. Hang on a minute. Wait. Control. There we go. Now I go to the next one. Create. Wait a minute. <laughs> what the hell is this? It deleted my other keyframe, even though I just wanted to make a new scale keyframe. It deleted this one because it's a toggle. Oh, crap. So that's opacity again. You know what? I'm, I'm screwing this up, and I'm not even intending to. Go away. I'm not even intending to get this wrong. Okay, control click to select. Let's say I want to make a new keyframe here. It's impossible because guess what? It's a toggle. And whenever you have a toggle like that, you're going to delete keyframes you don't want or you're going to create keyframes you don't want because we don't have, like I very specifically mentioned in this video that I made quite a long time ago, a shortcut for creating, a shortcut for deleting, and a shortcut for toggle create deleting because if you have just a toggle, it's a mess. By the way, the same thing applies to these shortcuts. These are all toggles. We really need dedicated shortcuts for uh, track targeting. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself here. The point is, this is a mess, and I never use these shortcuts because it's, ah, it's such a mess. Look, it's, ah, like I'm getting frustrated just trying to fake it for you guys here. Click, click, make a new one. Wait, did I? <laughs> I'm legitimately trying to do this correctly. Oh, by the way, here's, here's a piece of free advice. If I don't have anything selected like this, if there's nothing selected and I press the button, it should not go there, obviously. It should just go to whatever I have already enabled. So if I have this enabled, it should really do, let's just delete that real quick. It should really do all three. It doesn't, it just does the opacity. And also, I'm sure there's probably a better way to tell it which layers you want for the keyframes to go on to um, aside from just having to click them every single time, and if you accidentally lose your selection, you have to go re-click everything. Like, there's got to be a better way. There's got to be. I, I, don't, I don't understand why this is so difficult for them. The Adobe developers, for whatever reason, they don't seem to understand, like, a good user interface. They don't, they don't get it. It's like I'm playing Dwarf Fortress all day. So, anyway, <laughs> I have at least one theory as to why we're not getting these incredibly simple but essential features that I and many, many, many other people have asked for over the years. And it's because it's not like glamorous. You can't brag from the rooftops that you added a keyboard shortcut to create keyframes when you should have had that 10 years ago. But what you can brag about is something like this. This is the new keyboard shortcut mapper. It's a graphical interface for viewing and creating keyboard shortcuts in Premiere. Fantastic. Like, I'm so happy about this. And I mentioned this. 
it was my idea, well, one of my ideas, um, from you know June 2015, where I said, this would be really useful. I did some mock-up images, but I also said, at the end, I said, I would rather have all of the keyboard shortcuts that I've mentioned first before we get this awesome extra graphical interface because there's no point having a fancy graphical interface if you don't have any decent keyboard shortcuts to fill it up with. And again, don't get me wrong, the Premiere Keyboard Shortcuts panel is actually the best one I've ever used of any program I've ever used because you can search and you can just find stuff. Like you can change your little presets, like you can copy the clipboard, like this is fantastic. It's all done very, very nicely. You can't do that in Photoshop. You can't change keyboard shortcuts in After Effects at all. Uh, you have to download a plugin to accomplish that. Every Adobe program should have a keyboard shortcuts changer menu like Premiere's. And yet, they still don't have some of the most essential keyboard shortcuts I can imagine. And I can imagine a lot of them. So <laughs> that's, that's my rant about, like, I, I just, I don't get it. I don't know what's going on with the management over there, but it's like they don't understand their own product. They don't understand what it's good for, what people actually use it for, what people actually need it for. Like, we need to be able to create keyframes. Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, anyway, um, that's my video. Please fix this.